Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have covered a ton of AI coders by now. Like, I have talked about how you can build apps with AI coders like Windsurf, Klein, Cursor, and whatnot. However, one of the things that I haven't talked about as much is how you can host them usefully. Like, how is it that you can host the apps you make with them for a small, fixed price? and not something that slaps you with a $1,000 cost because your product went viral. Well, that is what I'm going to show you today, as well as how the stuff I'm going to show you compares to the so-called easy serverless options like Vercel. So, when we talk about hosting your web apps, most people would recommend Vercel. Well, that is good and all, but Vercel although it seems good at first glance, holds a deeper secret that most people don't understand. Like, it is not a fixed price, meaning that you not only need to pay the $20 subscription to get useful limits, but you also need to pay per action or visit when you go above the limit, which can really slap you with a hefty bill. And it happens to a lot of people. Actually, there's a whole site called serverless horrors that shows you stories about people who have experienced this. Now, especially for people who code with AI, they think that serverless is something that pros use. Well, that's not correct, because with simple tricks, you can save a ton of money on hosting and keep everything in your control. So now, let's talk about how I do my own hosting. Well, I like to have a VPS that I combine with Coolify in order to basically get the same features as Vercel, which is auto-deploys once you push to GitHub and stuff like that. Plus, I can connect as many domains as I want and host as many sites as I want. Plus, I get a static bill every single month, and I'm always in control of how I want to scale and whatnot. So, let me show you how you can also do the same. As I said, we'll be using Coolify and a VPS. Coolify, for those who don't know, is a self-hostable Heroku, Netlify, Vercel alternative. It helps you manage your servers, applications, and databases on your own hardware. You only need an SSH connection. You can manage VPS, bare metal, Raspberry Pis, and anything else which is just awesome. It just has a bit of hassle for setup, but then everything is good and hunky-dory. I have a detailed video just on Coolify if you want to watch that as well. Anyway, now comes the VPS part, and for VPS, I use Hostinger, who are also the sponsor of today's video. For all this, I actually use Hostinger's KVM2 plan. It only costs you about $6 99 cents per month for a 24-month term. That gets you about two CPU cores, 8 gigs of RAM, as well as 100 gigs of SSD storage, and 8 terabytes of bandwidth as well. Just for context, this amount of bandwidth would cost you more than $1,000 on Vercel. You can also save even more by just using my custom limited time deal to get an additional discount for all yearly plans with my code, which is AI Code King, or via the link in the description, which is hostinger.com slash AI Code King. You can just pick this up and then use my coupon code AI Code King in order to get an additional discount over this already super great deal. Now, once you have bought it, you'll need to set it up as well. Make sure that you select the nearest location to where your users will be located in order to give your users and yourself the best performance. Next, you'll need to select the OS that you want to use. But there's also another option, which is to use an OS with a panel. You can see that here we have the Coolify option. What it will do is automatically set up the VPS with Coolify, which will take out a lot of hassle for us, and we just need to work on the main stuff. So. I'll recommend selecting this, as it will automatically do that for you. But you can also select the bare bones, one with Ubuntu, 
and set it up yourself. You'll just need to install Docker and copy like two or three commands to get Coolify installed, which is also fine. And you can refer to my previous guide on how to do that. Anyway, just choose that. And you'll also want to set up the root password for the server along with an SSH key. If you don't have a public SSH key, then you can also create a new key with the command shown on the modal. Replace the email with your trusted email, and that will create the SSH key for you, which you can then just paste in here. Now, once that is set up, you'll have your server ready to go. If you do wish to connect this with a domain, then you'll have to update the A record of your domain and point it to the IP address of your server, and it should get connected. If you don't have one, then you can also get one from Hostinger itself. Anyway, once all that is done, you can head on over and connect to the server with SSH. Once you are connected, you should be good to go, and everything should work fine, and Coolify will also be installed on this server. It will spin up by default on port 8000, meaning that you'll need to head on over to your IP address and port 8000, and you should see this screen. It will ask you to set up the main admin login for Coolify, which you can easily do over here as well. Once done, just do skip or next, and you should see this main panel. Now, on the left, you can see multiple options, which are projects, servers, storage, database, and a ton of stuff that it allows you to host and manage with its help. So, let me show you how you can set up any of your projects to auto-deploy. To do that, you can just go to the Projects option and hit the Add option. Now, enter the name of the project, and then you'll need to select or add a new environment for deployment as well. Meaning that if you have different branches or repos for staging and non-staging, then you can get this set up and manage it more efficiently. Anyway, then you'll have to add a resource. In Resource, you can choose to auto-deploy a GitHub project when there's an update, or you also have a ton of other options that are pre-made, like you can deploy Supabase, Convex, N8N, Jellyfin, and whatnot with just one click. It's really powerful. Anyway, for now, let's select the public GitHub repo option, and then it will ask you for the GitHub repo that you want to deploy. Just give it whatever it is that you want to deploy and click the Check Repo option, then hit the Continue option, and then you will see that the project gets created. Now, click on the Deploy button, and your site will start to get deployed. You can see the logs and everything. Now, once that is done, you can go back to the main page here, and you'll see the domain that it has deployed the stuff on. It uses a temporary SSLIP domain, but you can also point your domain to the server IP and then just add the domain here with a comma and it should start popping up on that domain. It's simple. Anyway, if I open it up, then it will also show over here and it deployed quite well. Now, that is how you can do it. It is set to auto-deploy by default. So, as soon as you push new updates to GitHub, you'll start to see a new deployment trigger automatically and use that accordingly, which is awesome. You can also reduce your database costs and all kinds of costs by self-hosting Supabase and Convex with it and then just using that. It's all just one click and all this is graphical without any kind of hassles. Plus, it is your own server and you can use it all you want without any issues. That is how I try to host all my stuff that I code, create with AI, or even write by hand, because it allows me to do whatever I wish to do without any hassle and always stick to a simple price rather than being in the guessing game. That's majorly how it works. You can go ahead and give this a try and use it for yourself. Overall, it's pretty cool. 
Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.